Ready? I tried, I did my best. You did really, really well. <laughs> Greetings, I'm Jaffers. And I'm the captain. And yeah, we got explorers. We're going uh, We're going a bit Livingston on us, aren't we, really? He was a famous explorer. What other? Christopher Columbus. Oh. Living, Livingston, oh. I presume. That was the only, was the only we're explorer a bit polo. gag that I could, we're going a bit polo. A bit, bit Marco po Polo. Bit Marco. Yeah. That sounds like proper rhyming saying. What would it be if you were going a bit Marco Polo? On us. You're going a bit Marco Polo on us. Going a bit Marco on us. Going a bit Marco. That's how butchers are that. Oh, you're going for the old classics now, aren't yes, you? Yes, apples and pears. All, all the Americans watching, they're loving it because they love a bit of Cockney rhyming slang. They think it's how they we love all speak, what? isn't it? Cockney rhyming oh, slang. Cockney rhyming slang. Um, yes. Okay. Yes, 2017, we are here again doing more Gibson videos. Um, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel now. We've nearly covered the entire range, um, but we're doing the sort of the... What's well, right, there'll be another range next year. Yeah, absolutely. We'll never run out of work on this channel, will we? Nope. Um, so the Explorer and the Flying V, which we'll get to in a minute, are in the 2017 catalogue. Mm, yours is in Christmas uh, red. Absolutely, and yours is in um, Winter Satan black, black, whatever it might be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So, oh. and if you haven't seen any of the 2017 Gibson range review videos that we do, what we do is we go through the range and we always get a traditional spec and a high performance spec guitar and we kind of compare them. Mm. Um, and, because that's kind of what Gibson have been doing for the last couple of years is offering uh, a, like an unmessed around with, you know, straight up regular version, and then kind of a one with all the bells and whistles on it, which they call high performance. So tell us about your okay, bad well, boy guitar there. It's absolutely, it's an explorer. It's what you know and love if you love explorers. If you've always wanted one, this is a great one. It's got the rosewood fingerboard, it's got the mahogany body, it's got the mahogany neck. Uh, it's got the hockey puck on the yes. on the bit, so you can score some Hock are they goals. goals? I think I don't they know. are what goals. Called. Yes. It's got the pink. So we've got tone, volume, volume. This is your um, bridge volume. This is your neck volume. Three way, scratch plate. What humbuckers are they, Lee? They are, uh, funnily enough, the same as the ones that we just did in the SG. So it's four ninety R, four ninety T. Interesting how they sound slightly hotter. Well, it's a difference. There's a little bit more wood to the guitar, isn't there, than there would be on an SG? Well, certainly a lot more behind here. This is where a lot of people say it's it's this bit, <coughs> isn't it, that kind of seems to make a difference. That's where the wood Some that makes a difference lies. Of it. Yes. Um, it's. I mean, with this Friedman, I'm just getting classic Metallica tones. You are. Which is topical because I got the new album and I really like it. I wasn't it. expecting to. Yeah. But I did, and that's a really good thing. EP booster. <laughs> I stopped to watch Pete just put on some headphones and go, oh, that's really <laughs> Is that one of the new... No, I did that because Lee was just saying, is that one of the new tracks? And I thought I'd try and play over it, but didn't quite get in in time. It's, it's absolutely one of the new tracks. Is it really? I, yeah, it's called Seek and Destroy. It's a brand new track from Metallica. Fantastic. And, um, I can't wait. I'm really wait. impressed. So it's not, uh, you know, it's not off the old Metallica album from 1988 or whatever when the black, what was it called? I don't even know what it was called. To be Blackened honest. is the No, what was the? Puppet. That's it, Master of Puppets. See, I'm such a rubbish Metallica fan. I, don't, I shouldn't even say the word fan. I'm, I, I, I am aware, I am so unaware of what Metallica have really done. Okay, look, learn this riff. <laughs> It's 
It's the best thing that ever happened to your right hand. Yeah, it's... Booster, though, it sounds like this. I had uh, G-Force or Magic, yes, so that you can, Magic so that you can as choose. you like to call it. Well, look, there's really, I think the, the, the um, Explorer is one of those guitars that's kind of, this, tonally speaking, there's no reason why it should be sort of more associated with heavy rock and kind of metal. Because really, it's, it's just another one of the Gibson guitars. It's, it's got tones that are sort of Les Pauli or SG, but just in a shape that is less conventional, isn't it? And obviously appeals to people that are trying to be less conventional. Um, it looks more like a weapon. It does, it looks does like, like a weapon. like you brandish it against a Klingon. I have a particular set of skills, and I will find you, and I will deliver gifts. The high performance version, again, I, f I feel a little bit like a, a, a stuck record here as, uh, you know, I'm just telling you the same thing on every high performance model. But just to go through it quickly, Magic Machine Heads, um, aluminium zero fret uh, nut, uh, slightly wider neck than the traditional version, uh, different pickups, but not active or anything like that, just a different set of pickups on this one. It is the 496R and the 500T basically just slightly hotter versions of what's on there. Uh, different knobs, different switch, you know, just kind of similar, but a little different. Mm. Nicer case, that sort of thing. Um, I'm trying to think of what sort of not rock and metal players have played an Explorer over the years. And I'm sure there's a blues guy and it's, it's, it's there and I can't think who it is. Uh, who was the famous blues guy that played the V? Was that Freddie King? What, was Jimmy? It? No, the, like the, the super blues guy. It was one of the King. I think it was Freddie King, wasn't it? Played the V. And he, I'm pretty sure he had Freddie King on, like, inlaid on wow. the fretboard. Um, it's the same scale length as, as you know, a Les Paul or an SG, so feels pretty similar. The necks on these are... Again, a very similar, similar taper. So you're really buying a, a, um, an Explorer, not because it's a radically different sounding or feeling guitar to play, it's <coughs> the shape. And I guess if you stand up and play this guitar. Yeah, I, I like the feel. You know, the, the, then, it, then it takes on perhaps a slightly different vibe. I, I like the way it sits on a person when you play it live. Yeah. I like the way that it, it sits nicely when you sat down as well, because you yeah. can do all the do 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 And it just, it's an ergonomic dream. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so we'll have a little bit of a jam on these, and then we'll go over to the, the Flying Vs, which actually are a little different for 2017. Let's have a dirty fingers.
don't steal kids and don't steal kids. We're in the home straight of today's video, uh, the Flying V, which is, I guess is the kind of, is it the sort of the, the evil twin of the explorer or the naughty big brother or younger brother or? I think it's the deity they all worship. Mm, could be. Um, Tell and... me seven good things about Flying Vs in this lineup. Okay, they fly, they're <laughs> a V, uh, they look badass, they sound cool, they make you sit properly, albeit in a slightly uncomfortable way if you're, you know, unclassically trained like myself. Um, and I don't really know, they kind of, you know, I suspect most people would go, oh, obviously you're gonna play heavy rock on that then. And then you go, well, Jimi Hendrix, Lenny Kravitz, you know, Freddie Kings, like, you know, I have to play kind of heavy rock on this. But I suspect most V players, you know, you, you would think of uh, heavier guys. So in 2017, uh, I guess the biggest difference between the 2016 and the 2017 models is they have the Dirty Fingers humbuckers on them. Um, Available in two colours. I've got to say, white on white is doing it for me. Uh, black on white is pretty classic, or white on black, but white on white I think is looking good. <laughs> Um, wow, look at the neck join on that guitar. Look at the way they've shamped for that away. So, it's really high performance. So I have the traditional one and you can get the traditional one in black or white. And what's traditional about this is again, we've just got the regular Dirty Fingers pickups. They've gone for the open coils in 2017, <sighs> which gives it more of a kind of a modded kind of vibe. Um, two volumes and a tone control and a three-way switch. Probably never gonna play kind of stuff like that on a V. Popular jazz guitar. Uh, more likely to play stuff like this. Ah, oh, you can hear those dirty fingers. They're a, they're a uh, 70s, um, they, were, they were introduced into the Gibson catalogue in the 70s to be like a dirtier, higher gain thing than say a traditional PAF. Um, we should go one, one better and so introduce the dirty fist or something. The dirty thumb. That's what it is, the dirty thumb. <laughs> and, um, the only thing that, that Rob and I both said when we, you'll notice this slightly lighter, reddy brown kind of fretboard. And um, <laughs> I, look, there's a lot of stuff in the press at the moment about uh, how Rosewood is uh, about to be from 2017 covered underneath the International CITES Convention, which means that there'll be much stricter controls about uh, Rosewood being used in all forms of anything it that you make It basically needs wood. a passport from now on. Yeah, so I think you'll see more and more manufacturers <clears throat> probably uh, steering away from Rosewood. Quite why Gibson have decided to sort of do it on the on the V, but not on the Explorer or whatever, I don't really know, but this uh, wood is called Grenadillo. Armadillo? A crunchy um, on the outside, <laughs> soft on the inside, Hagrid. Which is, um, uh, you know, another another a kind of wood that looks a bit rosewoody, a bit lighter than it is, and, you know, kind of feels much the same to sort of play. It's got that similar kind of slightly rougher grain than, than um, uh, well, maple mine's has. mine's as smooth as a baby's a bottom, but it's I just, imagine. When I say rougher, it's like a bit more open than maple, isn't oh, right. it, is what I sort of mean. It's got a bit more of a grain look, look at that. to Touch it. Touch mine. Touch my grain. Yeah, it, feel, it just feels like rosewood. It just feels like rosewood. It doesn't quite look like rosewood. So it's called Grenadillo. 
Um, and you get that whether you buy the traditional spec one or the high performance spec one. And what else have we got on here? Yeah, it, pretty simple, straightforward. You get a um, get cases with these, which are nice, um, regular, you know, Grover machine heads. So this is, you know, just a regular, good old fashioned flying. I v. love, love, love touring a V. You do. It's, yeah, it's one of my favourite guitars to tour. You've got a V, haven't you? Yeah, I've got a Gibbo V. Yeah. Um, the only thing I ever found that was difficult with these is when the string gets stuck underneath them like that. Yeah. Mm. Well, you but could what say a lot that of about people, all open coil pickups. Well, what a lot of clever people like Dimebag did is they put a bit of gaffer tape over yeah. there just to prevent Electrical the issue. Electrical tape, I think it is, isn't it? Of course, you wouldn't get that on the high performance one because it's high performance, you see. So they've they've got away that from that situation. Well, and high performance, you've got a little bit more neck as well, yes. haven't you? So probably a little less bit more neckage. <laughs> A little bit hotter pickups on this. These are the Dirty Fingers yeah, Plus. Quite, quite considerably dirty fingers dirtier plus. fingers. Um, all the stuff that I'm too bored of talking about now to tell you that is different about high performance and traditional, it's the same. Although I think we should focus in, as Rob said, on the neck join because it's kind of. Let me see the neck join on your. On Wait, your... I'm busy tuning Sorry. my guitar without Magically. tuning it. Magically. Magical tuners. Look, watch this one. Look. By the power of. Ooh! It knows that I was in drop D and it's just sorted me out. Thanks, V. In Fli tune. Flip it round. Flip it over. So look, this has actually got one of the most unusually carved, looks like a woman's bottom, doesn't it? Like that. Um, unusually carved kind of, you know, neck joints here. So, you know, on the, on the regular uh, V, it's completely symmetrical <coughs> uh, and you know, with the position of the, the strap button, you can see really not designed for the upper access kind of fret player. Yeah. Whereas on this, they've kind of, they've like gone, right, we'll move that out of the way and we'll chamfer a bit more off this edge and we'll get rid yeah. of that nice. That looks really cool. You know what else is great about Vs? What's great about V? You want to put a V down somewhere, it stands up for you. I agree, I agree with that. It just, and you know what else is great about Vs? You want to pick it up, take it somewhere, just pick it up like oh, A little bowling ball. It's really, case, really, 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 you know. <laughs> it feels like a, you remember a, a bowling like in Trumpton where you, you get the soldiers isn't marching that, along? Isn't that the bowling ball grip? It's, uh, it's, or is it those? I think it's those. It's actually these two. It is those two. That's the bowling ball grip. I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. And I've, I've got dirty fingers now from uh, playing all these new... I don't know when this video is coming up. Probably before Christmas. I hope you get everything that you want on Christmas Day. Yes. Including, if you write to Santa quickly, one of these new amazing Gibson 2017 uh, Flying Vs or Gibson Explorers. Yeah. Because just, just write to him, because dreams will come true. Dreams just make sure you tell your mum and dad what you've asked Santa yeah, for. Me off, me off, me off, me off. Bye. Bye. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbours, 1959 Les Paul. Tell me about Rory. So he uh, edits videos. Rory's awesome. <laughs>